I really should begin by thanking you for honoring me with this prize. I'm particularly appreciative of the fact that this is going to be presented to me or whoever is going to be in my place by um, Secretary of State Hillary Clinton. I have a very, very special place in my heart for Hillary Clinton and for Madeleine Albright, who were two of the first American women to have supported the cause for democracy in Burma very strongly, very openly. And we have derived much strength from the support. At this, on this occasion, I would like to remind everybody that we're talking about vital voices. And the voices of women like Hillary Clinton and Madeleine Albright are vital. They are vital to remind people that there are other people who need to be helped. What I would like to say to this gathering is that we should not forget those who are in need of help. Uh, to put it very shortly, I would like to speak up for not forgetting. We need people to remember that we are struggling for our freedom. We are struggling for our basic rights, not just for the basic rights of women, but for the basic rights of all the people in Burma. And Burma is made up of many ethnic nationalities. The ethnic nationalities of Burma have had to face many troubles over the years, over decades, ever since we were independent. We have not yet achieved true unity in Burma. And I would like to think that unity among the ethnic peoples of Burma would start with unity among the women of Burma, whatever their ethnic nationality might be. And I particularly want to think, thank Vital Voices for what they have done for the ethnic nationalities of Burma. And uh, I, as I'm talking about not forgetting, I would not like you to forget that Burma is now at a very important point in her modern history. There, has, there have been elections which took place last year, and there is now an elected National Assembly. They are those who want to look upon this as progress. They are those who want to see uh, it as a step in the process of democratization. We would like you to be more alert. We would like you to study the situation very carefully and to see if there has been any real progress. Because what we need at the moment in Burma is an all-inclusive political process. This is what I have been repeating, well, ad nauseum almost, for the last two or three months because the, the, those who are in favor of looking upon what has happened as a positive step are trying to limit the political process in Burma to the elected National Assembly. Whereas we believe that as the, those who are committed to democracy, people may choose their own path. There should be freedom of choice. Those who wish to work through the National Assemblies may do so. But on the other hand, those like the National League for Democracy who prefer to work from outside the National Assembly should also be able to play their part in the life of the nation, in the political, social and economic life of the nation, in freedom and in security. So I would like vital voices to be raised in favor of an all-inclusive political process in Burma. And, um, I really look forward to the day when I will be able to attend gatherings such as these, to see you face to face, to thank you personally for all that you have done for us over the years. But for the time being, let me just say thank you.